Hello friends, welcome again to the world of Maths by Amir. So this one is my guest concept for your upcoming examination like SSC or CAT or any other competitive examination. The question is based on the angle bisector. Okay, so this one is your question. I would say, please pause the video, think for one minute and solve the question and post answer in the comment. I hope you have tried and solved kiya hoga and you have posted his answer in the comment. So let's check the question first then the answer. So question is quadrature formed by angle bisector of a quadrature is what? It's a quadrature, not a parallelogram, not a rectangle. It's a general quadrature. So there is no condition on the quadrature. Let's draw a quadrature. Say you have a quadrature. Any quadrature do you have? Join this one. Name them. Say this one is A. This one is B. This one is C. This one is D. Now we need to draw the angle bisector. So say this one is the angle bisector like here this one is the angle bisector so the angle bisectors of a and d meets at say point is o now we have to draw the angle bisector these are the angle bisectors so this one is say the p this one is q this one is r this one is s so this quadrature is known as the angle bisector quadrature let's zoom the figure okay so we have this figure in this we need to find what is the pqrs can we say this angle is a by 2 if the complete angle is a generally i need to write a in the capital because the small a is the side but anyhow i'm writing a by 2 a by 2 and this one is nothing but d by 2 this one is d by 2 fine so can i say what is the value of this one since it is a by 2 it is d by 2 so can we say p is nothing but 180 minus a plus d by 2 I hope it is clear. Similarly, we can say this one is B by 2 because angle bisector. This one is B by 2 and this one is nothing but C by 2. This one is nothing but C by 2. So, can we say this angle R with the BC R triangle R is nothing but 180 minus B plus C. This one is divided by 2 and divided by 2. If we add both, so what we are getting? We are nothing getting but P plus R this one is p plus r is nothing but 360 minus addition of all is nothing but a plus b plus c plus d by 2 and a plus b plus c plus d in any quadrature is nothing but 360 degree so we have 360 minus 360 divided by 2 is nothing but 180 degree and we know in any quadrature if the opposite summation is 180 degree the answer should be a cyclic quadrature so answer of this question is nothing but cyclic means none of this so it's not a rectangle if i zoom it out so the answer of this question is not rectangle not kite not a parallelogram the answer is cyclic so answer is none of these but if this quadrature assume the quadrature outside is a parallelogram then we'll get a rectangle but if you have to go for the angle bisector of any quadrature because quadrature properties is not given then from the angle bisectors we are getting a quadrature which is cyclic in nature so please note it down in your notebook the angle bisectors quadrature by the quadrature or of the quadrature gives a cyclic quadrature fine so i hope it is clear to you so i have given a complete solution you just need to note it down in your paper Angle by sector of quadrature is a cyclic quadrature. Angle by sector of a parallelogram would give a rectangle. Fine. So it's time for a homework. If I say I have a quadrature A, B, C, D, and we have a P, Q, R, S, where Q A is angle by sector, Q D is angle by sector, S B is angle by sector, S C is angle by sector, and these are the point of intersections of the angle by sectors fine if i say this angle that is angle spq is nothing but 110 degree so what is the angle srq so this one is your question fine if spq is 110 degree what is the angle srq my handwriting is quite good so i say sorry for my handwriting but you just need to use the concept which we have learned a few seconds before and try to solve this question and post in the comment and I would must say must follow 
must before examination mbe so there is a playlist in my youtube channel must before examination you must follow before examination link is given in the description go and watch it has around 56 57 lectures you can easily watch all the lectures in the three to four hours so if you give three to four hours of yours of a day definitely you can get three to four more marks in your examination i hope this concept is clear you are going to post the answer of this question fine so if you have any doubt i would say please rewind the video watch it again or if you have doubt feel free to ping me on any of the social networking site god bless you happy learning and bye bye